Hello everyone, and uh, today I just wanted to make a quick video looking at these, uh, these, like, cards that, um, I got when I was uh, at the Kennedy uh, Space Center a couple weeks ago. And if you want to watch a video I made about that, I'll have it on the card in the top right. But when I got off the bus at the Star 5 complex, uh, there was someone who gave me and my dad this set of cards, which I haven't even looked at because I want to make a video on it. Let me just get the rubber band off them real quick, and then we'll have a look at them. Why am I making a video about this? Because I can. Okay. We'll start with one on the very top. I right hear exploration ground systems, Artemis, a network of Earth-based structures required for launch. And looks like the picture here is of the launch tower for the Artemis on the back. There's a logo of the Artemis. Let's see. Space exploration begins on the ground. NASA's upgrading the launch pads, the vehicle assembly building, and fire room at the agency's Kenny Space Center in Florida for Artemis missions, as well as a variety of commercial and government launch services customers. Yeah. Pretty cool. I like the way it looks on here. Let's see, the second one is the space, the space launch system which is what Artemis is using. The most powerful rocket in the world. Uh, Starship might compete with that, we'll see though. But yeah, there it is. Looks pretty fucking cool. Let's see what it says on the back about it. NASA's powerful new rocket will send humans and cargo to the moon and beyond. The Space, la the space Launch System is designed to be flexible and evolvable and is the agency's first deep space rocket since Saturn V. Yes, indeed. Indeed. It's a fucking beast of a rocket. And again, you should see the video that I made. It looks fucking amazing. Only a mile away. Let's see. Next is Orion. The capsule. Deep space human rated command module. Yes, indeed. This is what's going to be launched on top of the space launch system. Let's see. NASA's Orion spacecraft will take up four astronauts to the gateway in lunar orbit. Wait, I thought the gateway wasn't there yet. Pretty sure that's like a lunar space station, but don't they have to make that first? Anyway, a gateway in lunar orbit where they will board a human landing system for missions to the surface of the moon. Once docked, Orion will provide life support systems to the orbital outpost on early missions and will keep astronauts alive in the case of an emergency 250,000 miles from Earth. Well, that's uh, pretty bold. It's pretty ambitious, but I'm sure they can do it. I don't know that. I wasn't talking to you! Sorry, my echo got randomly turned on. I don't know why the fuck it did that. And speaking of Gateway, here it is! Gateway! Lunar outpost around the moon. Yeah, but don't, I'm pretty sure they have to construct that first. Like, it's not there now. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let's see. The gateway will serve as an orbital outpost to support human and scientific exploration of the moon. As a command and service module in lunar orbit, the gateway can be evolved to support longer duration lunar missions and exploration further into the solar system. American companies will regularly deliver supplies like oxygen, fuel, and food to the gateway for NASA. Well, I suppose it's actually pretty smart, right? To have a space station around the moon so that you can have constant around there. You know, like a constant presence around there, I suppose that's smart. Let's see. Lunar landers! Oh, look at that! That's a pretty big fucking lander. Modern human lunar landers. That's a huge-ass lander. God damn. <laughs> that's one big-ass lander. Let's see. NASA is working with American companies to study and soon build a modern human landing system that will take astronauts, including the first woman and next man, to the surface of the moon by 2024. That's only two years away. I don't know if you can still meet that deadline, but I hope you do. But that's that's literally two years away. Yeah, that's one big ass lander. Here's the last one. Astronaut spacesuits. Look at that. Surface suits designed for a broad range of movement. Indeed. Modernized. Look at that. In their harsh environment of space, astronauts will need modern spacesuits to once again explore the unknown, beginning with the lunar South Pole. Oh, they're going to the South Pole and the moon. That's cool. NASA's Advanced Exploration Extravehicular 
Mobility Unit, or XEMU, will support lunar surface expeditions for protection during launch and re-entry to Earth's atmosphere. Astronauts will wear Orion's Crew Survival System Unit. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You got all of these, and that's the last of the cards. I'll just uh, put them back in order of the way and put the rubber band back on. Actually, you know I didn't use a fucking rubber band. It should, but whatever. Uh, there it is. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, well, there we go. This was a short video, but like I said, I wanted to do a video looking at looking at these cards. But yeah, this is a short video, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And I will see you all soon. Bye.